Many people have a hard time believing that Apple has been involved in more than a handful of design scandals. Due to the company's present status as one of the most desirable and renowned tech companies in the world, this is because Apple's products are known for their innovative and elegant designs. Although some of these blunders were caused by products that were simply ahead of their time, there were also some other objectively bad designs, such as the first generation Apple Pencil's lightning charger that shouldn't have made it past the initial design phase, let alone and become a prototype or find its way into the hands of a customer. If you asked an Apple fan from the late 1990s about what Apple product they found to be the most frustrating to use, there's a good chance that they would say Hockey Puck. This is because Hockey Puck was the name of an Apple product that was set to release during this time frame. In point of fact, the Hockey Puck mouse, which was first introduced in 1998, is constantly put at the very top of the list of the absolute worst things that Apple has ever manufactured. The mouse was designed to look like a hockey puck, like the one they use in the NHL. But what precisely was wrong with the hockey puck mouse, and why did it get so much criticism, even from those who are true Apple fans? Continue watching this video to learn more about Apple's weird mouse and find out where you can still buy it. The hockey puck mouse was a disgraceful failure as a pointing device since it was not built to perform what it was supposed to do, which was to point accurately. They had one job. The design of the device was not ergonomic and did not lend itself to a pleasant experience when used. Because of its spherical design, it was difficult for individuals to position the mouse and in the appropriate manner when they were using it. On top of all this, the general consensus was that the hockey puck had a poor level of construction quality. There was widespread agreement among reviewers that this device, in general, was a really bad mouse. Some customers had the impression that Apple placed an excessive amount of importance on the physical design of the mouse. In retrospect, the mouse seemed to be an appropriate complement to the Bondi Blue iMac G3, the first generation of Apple's desktop computer, which was released in 1998. However, in order to function as a pointing device, it was required to do a great deal more than just look at the parts. People who bought the mouse at the time decided to seek alternative suitable mice that might replace the hockey puck mouse, since, as was to be anticipated, the mouse received negative reviews from reviewers at the time. Despite this, it was actually the very first Apple mouse to use the USB communication protocol, which is now the industry standard in mice of all brands. Yeah. We have Bluetooth now, but many still use USB. During the next product cycle that Apple undertook in 2002 when it introduced the iMac G4 and the Apple Pro mouse, it was not surprising to see that Apple would ditch the mouse. The new pointing device, although having a few drawbacks, did not suffer from the same issues with its design as the hockey puck mouse had, and users responded favorably to it in the majority of cases. So to sum up, Apple's hockey puck mouse was a big failure and was discontinued in July 2000. Rest in peace. Piece. But hey, you can still find this legendary product on eBay for only 30 bucks. Thanks for watching, and click the subscribe button for more stories on dead tech.